Hey folks, it's Paul Mailing again for Acoustic Guitar. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about uh, two things that many guitar players overlook. Uh, two things that are essential to gypsy jazz guitar playing especially, but are applicable to almost every style of music that I can think of. Uh, these two techniques are called vibrato and tremolo. And you may think that they don't go together, but the way that I'm going to show you uh, can help you see them as uh, cousins or maybe even uh, siblings. Tremolo is the kind of thing where you... Uh, it might be rhythmic like that, like that was a bunch of triplets, but it's a way of uh, keeping the sound of the guitar moving uh, without using anything other than your hands, without using special effects or uh, signal processing like a compressor or something to get sustained. You're actually sustaining the note by tremoloing. That's what this motion of the wrist. It can be single string, it can be whole chord. It can help you with glissandos or portamentos, whatever you want to call them. There are many different ways to use a tremolo. Now, vibrato is another way of keeping the string alive, but you do it with the left hand instead of the right hand. If the right hand was doing it, you might just sustain the note that way with a series of rapid picking, but with vibrato, you're actually keeping the string moving by bending it. So there's two kinds of vibrato, with uh, guitar that is. You can play like a violin player, where you're moving your hand in a horizontal motion along the path of the string. And as you can hear, there's very little sound there. The way that I prefer to vibrate, and the way that gypsy jazz guitar players vibrate, and the way that most rock and roll players vibrate is called pitch shifting, where you're actually bending the note just a little bit. And this gives like a singing quality to the string and the string actually starts to sing. Now, there's a physical principle involved with this. And if you looked at a string's vibration on a sine wave, you strike the string and the sound is at its loudest and then it decays like this. And it goes away. If you bend the note, you can hear the string stays in play a little bit longer. If you bend it and release it, it's an almost imperceptible change in the pitch. But it's still going. So this is magic. If you do it two times, it still wants to sing. You're actually like engaging with the string. It's kind of a fun little game that you're playing here. And the idea here is that each bend, the first bend is a small bend, if you saw it on a sine wave. The next bend would be a little bigger, if you could see it. The next bend would be even bigger. So to uh, demonstrate here, the first bend would be imperceptible. The second bend would be a little bit bigger. The next bend would be a little bit more. And you keep trying to pull the string as much as you can to keep the string singing. You see this? Now, there's a speed to the vibrato as well. And generally in music, the speed of a vibrato matches the tempo of the music that you're playing. If you listen to opera singers, you'll see this. You may think when you listen to opera, it's just ah, all the time, but really they're using the vibrato in terms of rhythm to keep the note moving, even though it's a whole note, it's moving along in tempo to the music. And as instrumentalists, we can use the same principle. So I'm gonna take my trusty metronome, set it at about 80 beats per minute. It's always a good place to start. And I'm gonna just strike one note. Here, I'm gonna use the first finger on the note G on the G string at the 12th fret. And we're just gonna try one bend. And then we're going to try two bends with one strike of the pick. Now 
will try to get three. Now we'll try to get four. Now we'll try the next finger, same thing. One, uh, one bend per pick. And then two. And then three. And then four. And of course, we're going to do this with all fingers, the same exercise. Etc. And then you're going to do the same series of exercises with the fourth finger. Now we have examples um, in, the sh in the sheet music examples where you can use different picking tricks. For instance, down, up, down. Up. So example 1B, I sort of just did that for you, but let's review. Here's the metronome at 80 beats per minute. And example 1A is just... And then 1B is the same thing using all downstrokes because when we're getting into tremolo, we're really talking about pick control. So here's all downstrokes. Example 1C is the same thing, but we're doing alternate picking now, but starting with an upstroke. This may be challenging for some of you, and good if it is. So up, down, up, down. Now, when we combine this beginning step of tremolo with vibrato, we get... That's example 2A. Example 2B is getting two bends from one strike of the pick. So going back to tremolo, we're going to work on triplets, and triplets are usually done with alternate picking. Again, since we're talking about pick control, this is a good time to try picking triplets with a downstroke at the first of each triplet. So we would have down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, with the metronome in tempo. Down, 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 down. I'll do that again slower without the metronome, just so you can see. One triplet using a downstroke and then a upstroke. And I recommend that you do this with all fingers. All the exercises should be done with all fingers and all strings. All right, here's example five, which is uh, a slightly faster version of quarter notes. Actually, it's eighth notes this time with alternate picking. I'm going to change fingers. Exercise six is just a simple C scale, four notes. When we get to the fifth note, we're going to vibrate it. Example six B is the same basic thing. It's just done with triplets. Example seven is triplets with a chromatic scale. A chromatic scale is every fret, every note. 
So the, in tempo. Another way that you could be doing this would be to be using tremolo instead of vibrato on that last note. So to go back to example six, we would do... And if you want to go to graduate level, you'll alternate between tremolo and vibrato, like the title of the article. Now vibrato. Tremolo. Vibrato. And here's example seven, which is a chromatic scale done in triplets starting on the note E. And we're going to alternate between landing on the vibrato and then landing on the tremolo back and forth, just like we just did in the previous example. So. I hope you were able to uh, stay with us through the whole lesson. If not, don't despair. Chew on this in little bits. You know, they say the only way that you can eat an entire elephant is one little bit at a time. So if this whole series of exercises is too much for you, just work on the ones that you can and gradually try to build up your ability to digest the entire elephant here. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to email me at Care of Acoustic Guitar. Thanks for being here today. I'm Paul Malin saying good luck and have fun. Enjoy the journey.